Hey there, future doctors. Ever wondered what makes your pulse race, your cheeks flush, or your mind focus in class? It all comes down to one extraordinary organ, the heart. So let's take a quick journey through the incredible cardiac system. All right, picture your heart. Not just a symbol of love, but a muscular pump working non-stop to keep you alive. The heart sits slightly left in your chest, made up of four chambers, two atriums on top, two ventricles below. The tip? That's the apex, formed by the left ventricle and supplied by the anterior interventricular artery. The base? That's the back, mainly the left and right atriums. Blood flows in a loop. It starts with oxygen-poor blood entering the right atrium, then slips into the right ventricle. From there, it's pumped out through the pulmonary artery to the lungs, where it loads up on oxygen. The freshly oxygenated blood then zips back into the left atrium via the pulmonary veins, heads to the left ventricle, and finally surges out the aorta to the rest of your body. Pretty epic, right? But there's more. What keeps your heart beating in perfect rhythm? The secrets in its electrical system. The SA node, tucked in the right atrium, acts as the heart's pacemaker. Thanks to automaticity, it fires off spontaneous electrical impulses, no reminders needed. These signals sweep through the atriums, pause at the AV node, and shoot down to the ventricles, making sure everything contracts in sync. Now let's talk muscle. The heart's got contractility, meaning those chambers squeeze powerfully with every beat, launching blood out to your body. The amount sent out with each beat? That's your stroke volume. It depends on heart size, how hard it contracts, and how much blood fills up between beats. And while stroke volume is key, it's just one half of cardiac output, the total amount your heart pumps every minute. Cardiac output equals stroke volume times heart rate. But how does your body keep blood pressure steady? Short term, your nervous system jumps in, speeding up your pulse or narrowing vessels. Long term, it's the kidneys show. By adjusting urine output, they control blood volume, helping regulate pressure over days and weeks. Let's not forget peripheral resistance, the squeeze in your arteries. Small vessels mean more resistance and higher pressure. And in an adult, the total blood volume is about 5 liters, enough to nourish every cell. So next time your heart skips a beat, don't worry. It's all part of the journey that keeps you moving, thinking, and dreaming. Thanks for tuning in. Keep those questions coming. And remember, the heart isn't just anatomy, it's the rhythm of life.